Hi folks, and welcome back. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. In this series of videos, what I'm covering is some terminologies or some parameters we actually measure when testing category cable for certification testing. In this video, we're going to talk about the crosstalks. That's the nearing crosstalk, the far-end crosstalk, the power sum crosstalk, and a new one out there called alien crosstalk. Okay? Now, crosstalk is essentially interference between the pairs, and anytime you put current down a conductor, it's going to radiate a magnetic field. Now, this magnetic field, we call it by way EMI, if it's strong enough, it can interfere with signals traveling down other conductors nearby it. And I bet a lot of us have probably picked up a phone in our lifetime, and you're talking to your buddy, you can faintly hear somebody else in the background. What's going on there is this noise or crosstalk, and we've got two telephone pairs sitting real close together in a bundle. And again, anytime you put current down a conductor, it's going to radiate the magnetic field, which crosses the pair next to it, which actually happens to be your phone line, and it induces a little bit of voltage or signal into that other cable. And you faintly hear this other conversation. Well, again, a computer doesn't know what to listen to and what not, you know, what need, needs to listen to. So we got to eliminate this noise or crosstalk in the cabling. And we do that by twisting of the pairs. And the more we twist, actually, the more we eliminate. Now, this noise happens throughout the length of the cable, but we primarily like to look and see what's happening at the, at the ends of the cabling, what we call the nearing crosstalk and the far end crosstalk. Okay? Now, uh, the higher the frequency goes, the worse this crosstalk is actually going to become. And we're actually going to make this measurement of crosstalk on both ends of the cable, and we're going to measure it in a unit of measurement called a decibel. Okay? And the higher that dB number, the actually the better reading is. Now, here's a chart of a nearing crosstalk plot of a cable that was done. Now, when we look at the chart, across the top of the chart, you see the frequency range going from 0 all the way out to 250 megahertz. Now, on the left side of the chart is the crosstalk measurement being done, actually in decibels again, and the higher that number, the better. Now, that red line is kind of a go-no-go -go line and uh, that we can't pass in order to still pass certification. Okay? And those lines right below that are actual measurements of nearing crosstalk the tester has made throughout that entire 250 megahertz range. Okay? And again, none of those can cross the red line. If it does, we would actually fail the nearing crosstalk test. Now, another test we do is called uh, far-end crosstalk. And the effects, as we say, uh, is done at the far end or where the signals are actually being received. And uh, you're going to get a very similar plot on your chart. And again, the higher the dB number we get, the better we are at eliminating that crosstalk. Now, another one we do nowadays is called power sum crosstalk. Now, back when 10 base T and 100 base T are pretty much king in the industry, uh, they actually only use two of the four pairs to actually do what they do. But when gigabit Ethernet came on board, we actually now are transmitting on all four pairs in both directions, what we call full duplex. And we need to make these measurements in both directions. So nowadays what we have is a power sum crosstalk test. And this is where we're going to energize three of the pairs in a cable and see what effect they have on that fourth pair. And again, we'll do that on all four pairs and in, in, um, in both directions. Okay. Now, a new one that we've had out for a few years now is called alien crosstalk. Now, in other crosstalks, but generally what, what's going on within the cable itself between the four pairs. Nowadays, uh, we are going to, as we get into frequencies above 300 megahertz and CAT 6A is out into 500 megahertz and beyond, we now start worrying about what we call alien crosstalk or what's going on to a, a cable inside of a bundle of cables. And uh, we can't do 100% alien crosstalk testing and the industry does not require you to do it, uh, but it is one more thing to look at if you're running into some cabling problems in your system. Is not quite functioning the way you need it to. And what we'll do when we do our testing, our certification testing, we'll identify some of what we call victim cables. And then when we do our certification testing, we will also do the tests on the, like six cables right around that one and see what effect those six cables are having on our victim one. Okay? And that is again called alien crosstalk. So hopefully that explained a few more industry terms for you. Uh, keep coming back to the channel because I'll be doing more and more of these. Hey, thanks for coming again. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I will see you on the next one.